In the fourth chapter of St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, he mentions about the fullness of time in which Jesus was born. It's a very wonderful phrase. In fact, it's so good that I use it as a title for one of my books because it, it's Paul's way of saying God had a good sense of timing. When the time had fully come, when everything was ready, then Jesus was born. And it's so true. If Jesus had been born at any other time than when he was, we might not have heard of him today unless God had arranged it otherwise. I'll tell you why. If he would have been born uh, in 100 BC, for example, then the Roman Republic at that point was failing. There were two or three civil wars going on during that century. The whole em the empire to be was drenched in blood. Uh, if he would have come afterwards, for example, 400 AD, that would have been too late. The barbarian hordes were invading the Roman Empire. But it was just perfect timing that when Jesus was born, Augustus was in charge. The empire had settled down. Uh, he had hung up the traffic lights, so to speak. You could now go by land and sea with uh, impunity. It was safe to travel. This is how St. Paul could later proclaim the good news in Asia Minor, Greece and Italy, because it was safe now to travel the, way, the by lanes of the Mediterranean. It was a perfect time because there was one universal language spoken across the Mediterranean world. It wasn't Latin. It was common commercial Greek, the very language in which the New Testament was written. And this was a perfect uh, international medium for communication.